Good morning, everyone. We are looking very, um, not put together. <laughs> um, but I'm in my bedroom right now. I'm actually just doing my hair um, because I do have to shoot some content um, in a little bit. So I thought I would sit down and actually show you how I curl my hair. Um, I already have done most of it, but I thought I would do the top with you. Although typically I like to wash my hair at night and then let it dry naturally and then curl it in the morning. Because I just got my hair colored, I used Olaplex last night. I believe it's the number three or number four. Um, so I put that treatment in overnight, I slept with it, and then I got up this morning, washed my hair, blow dried my hair, and then I used this Jisoo heat protecting spray, and then I also used the polishing primer. I used both of these in my hair before I blow dried it, and now I'm curling my hair. I always just curl my hair with my flat iron. You know what? I'm not fancy. I can't do the whole wand. It's too much. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But for now, um, I just use my GHD Classic Styler. So, I have done most of my hair already, so I figured I would do the top half with you. You really just want to section your hair off however, however you like. And then you're going to grab about inch to two inch pieces. And I always like to flatten the last kind of inch of my hair. And then you're gonna clamp it, turn it half a turn towards the back, and then curl it. And I personally like to leave an inch to two inches undone, so I don't curl those last two inches. And then you just repeat that, so I'll show it again. This is literally the easiest method you could ever use. Again, one turn, or I guess half a turn. And the slower you move through your hair, the stronger that curl is going to appear. So you don't want to do this super fast or else your curl just isn't going to come through. My building has yet to turn on the AC and because it's getting warmer outside, it is getting unbearably hot in this apartment. Like just, I am sweating right now. I'm just dying for them to turn the AC on because I, I cannot deal with this just insane sweating. It's just, it's not making me, it's too hot for me. But, um, anyway, so you're just going to repeat that over and over again always going away from your face. I used to alternate kind of going away from the face and then towards the face, but now I've just gone completely um, kind of away from the face. It just makes it easier. So anyways, I'm gonna keep going um, with my hair and then I will show you the results. Sorry if you can hear a background noise, but I had to bring in um, my fan because it is just so hot in here. Like, I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> um, but that is pretty much my finished hair. I can always just touch up kind of some curls if, you know, they're not looking the way I want them to look. But the trick is don't touch your curls after you've curled them. Let them cool down, like, to the point where they're, like, totally normal temperature. Um, because if you start running through your fingers through your hair while it's still hot those curls are just gonna fall out really really quickly um, I personally don't use hairspray. You totally can. I just find that my curls hold nicely and I like when they fall naturally um, I like that look, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I get a lot of frizz. Everyone asks me how I avoid frizz um, I don't it's always there. You just can't really see it on video but yeah that's my hair. I am gonna do my makeup now. I already did my skincare this morning, but I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, I'm watching Life As We Know It right now on Netflix. Um, I'm not sure why, I just 
put a random movie on whilst I was doing my my hair but um, I'm not gonna do my makeup with you just because you should have already seen um, my current makeup routine on, on I think it was last week I don't know when you're gonna see this video but you should have already seen my current makeup routine video um, at some point so yeah I was gonna do my makeup drink my coffee and then just watching this movie because I don't know how much longer I have. We'll see. Anyways, and then I'm going to get ready and I'm essentially waiting for a delivery. And as soon as I get this delivery, I am going to go out and shoot content with that, those items. And then come back and the rest of the day will be dedicated to school, unfortunately. Um, that's pretty much my day. Very boring, very just work. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um... I started a new book. I finished Atomic Habits, loved it. I will have to sit down later and kind of share with you my favorite parts of the book um, because if you're planning on picking it up, I highly recommend it. The only complaint I have with Atomic Habits is that he's a little bit repetitive at points. By that, I just mean like he made a point and then he like backed it up like 5,000 ways and repeated the same concept over and over again, which is fine. Um, very answers and arguments were supported which is good but um yeah that was the only thing i found with this just sometimes he got a little bit repetitive but anyways i'm chatting too much i'm going to do my makeup and be ready for the day hello i am all dressed and ready to go i've got some new jewelry to show you in this video which i'm very very excited about um but right now i am still sitting by my fan because it's so incredibly hot um they're also renovating the suite beside me so it's there's a little bit of construction noise which is really annoying especially when i have to film um but right now it's about 10 o'clock and i'm gonna do some emails and some work before again like i'm literally just waiting for this delivery um in order to go out and shoot the content that i need to shoot um so it's a little bit frustrating but that's kind of the plan i haven't had breakfast yet so i might go make something quick but for now i'm gonna reply to some emails get some stuff checked off my to-do list for today and yeah oh also i have been wearing in my last vlog which by the way i'm so sorry i linked it wrong um the first time i'm so sorry guys um but i've been wearing the dior lip glow color reviver balm in 001 pink so this is the original shade and i've been wearing this with the summer fridays balm on top and it is such a beautiful lip combo i literally think it's like the best combo for spring and summer and it's so hydrating it's so comfortable on the lips it's literally like you're wearing lip balm well kind of wearing two lip balms i guess but because the summer fridays balm is so like glossy it just gives such a beautiful look but anyways i am going to get some work done um and then i'll catch up with you in a bit so i am ready to shoot this campaign actually i don't know if i can talk to you about it but i'm gonna film it anyways um so i am working with browns and they're collaboration with michael kors so michael kors kindly dressed me um and so i'm wearing a full michael kors outfit i'll show you in a second and then obviously some new sneakers from their collection and i am so in love let me show you so this is the outfit that i am shooting this is a beautiful michael kors trench coat um i've got some trousers which i've just rolled up just to kind of give a more sporty look and then of course the sneakers that this partnership is all about. Um, these are so, so beautiful. They have beautiful gold detailings on the back and on the top. And as you guys may know, I have been loving all my gold accents recently. So these shoes just go perfectly with everything. But anyways, this is what we're shooting. So we're just gonna head out, shoot this, and then come back and keep working. But yeah, that's kind of the plan. Hello everyone, it is much later on in uh, the day. Um, I did everything that I needed to get done and now I'm just about to go out and get some groceries and some wine and it's not Friday yet. I totally thought it was Friday and was so excited to have a glass of wine and, and, and it's Thursday. So um, it's Thursday. But yeah, I'm just gonna go out, pick up some stuff. I'm just wearing my Burberry trench coat and then just um, some white trousers, nothing crazy. It's not overly warm out, but typically around this time, and I mean, it's, it's 15 degrees, it's warm, but um, it usually starts to get windy, so. But anyways, I'm gonna make a list and get ready to go.
Good morning, everyone. It is a very rainy and gloomy day today. It's why I had to pull out my Cezanne sweater because my Cezanne sweaters are literally like the coziest of things. <laughs> but last night, what did we do last night? My mom came over, she said she came over to help some shoot some content um, because we had to do that for a brand and then everything turned out really, really great. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Um, and then we ended up going out for a walk. I think I showed you. We went to Italy and just some grocery stores. Um, I picked up and I have to tell you. So for dinner, I made a truffle, like cheesy pasta. I made my classic vegan mac and cheese essentially, but I make it with feta and I think it's it's not mozzarella. And a oh, oh, cheese and a little bit of milk. That's how I always make my vegan cheesy pasta. I call it cheesy pasta, okay? It's not mac and cheese. I call it cheesy pasta. So that's how I make my vegan cheesy pasta and essentially we bought this truffle oil truffle paste at Italy and we added that to it It's so good like if you even if you're not vegan, okay, make your regular Cheesy pasta and then just add this like truffle paste to it Literally the best thing I've ever had so so amazing it tasted phenomenal. So that's what we had for dinner. Um, and then I don't even know what I did. I think I just had a very low key night. I read and just enjoyed my night. Um, but today I woke up um, and I filmed, I just finished filming this makeup look. <laughs> and, um, but what I did want to chat to you about this morning was actually my jewelry. I know you will have already seen this on Instagram if you follow me there, but you ladies over here on YouTube, we're, we're besties, okay? So I wanted to really just kind of take a moment and talk to you about all the pieces that I chose out um, because I thought so long and hard about these pieces. So long and hard. Um, and I even thought about you ladies while I was choosing these pieces because for me, jewelry is something that just really, really needs to, to be functional. Um, I think, yes, it's nice to have those pieces that you can put on here and there and kind of swap them out every single day. But for the most part, I really do like my jewelry to just be something that I can wear every single day, um, very kind of hassle-free. I know someone commented in a previous vlog regarding how like she was someone who was very athletic and she was always really struggling with jewelry because she never knew what to pick out because if you're someone who works out or you know, um, you're know you constantly sweating or maybe you're showering a lot, I understand how frustrating wanting to wear jewelry can be. Um, and so hopefully these pieces are pieces that, you know, will be functional, but still a little bit more dressier, a little something a little more exciting. So anyways, I'm going to take them off because I am wearing them. <laughs> and then I will kind of talk to you a little bit about them. Also a new watch because I'm so excited. I honestly, I chose out all of these pieces, the watch, the jewelry, all so they could kind of work together alongside all of my previous jewelry pieces. So if you have pieces that I've you know bought before and that I've shared before this all works together okay I think something that I love to be able to do is incorporate my new item with my old items there's no need to to you know get something new and then forget about your old item no 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 one gets left out <laughs> so anyways I am gonna take off these pieces and I can chat to you a little bit about them and then I will also chat to you about my watch which I'm so excited because you guys are gonna love it I'm so excited okay so anyways let me go do that that way we can chat Oh, wait, I have to show you something. So yesterday while I was at Italy, can you tell my excitement there? I was shopping around and I saw these Illy Lungo Nespresso pods and I literally got so excited and I bought them. So this is just the Lungo Illy blend. I think this is just their, their classic roast. They had a few, they had a decaf, they had about four other non-decaf versions as well, but I just want the classic. It's so it's so good and like look how cute these little pods are they say illy and everything so cute and anyways i had um a coffee this morning actually i'm still drinking it so so good it's a little bit expensive i do have to admit um but if you're looking you know to treat yourself um maybe on the weekend you just want like a really good cup of coffee at home highly recommend this um i didn't even know illy made espresso pods to be honest i know you can buy starbucks ones um I don't love the Starbucks roast, but um, yeah, I didn't know Illy made them, so that's exciting. Anyways, sidetracked. 
let me get back to jewelry what i did want to chat to you about is a new watch and you guys are so funny you guys totally caught me on this um on instagram because i went to take a photo of like i think it was like my acai bowl and you guys literally saw like the side of the watch and you're like where's it from i'm like is that a new watch and i'm like guys i can't share with you yet <laughs> um but before i get chatting away i do want to say that this part of the video is an integrated paid for partnership with nordgreen and we all know i love nordgreen so um, I actually wanted to sit down and show you a new watch that I very thoughtfully picked out as we are heading into spring and summer. Um, recently, I have been really enjoying wearing silver and gold. And I either had silver watches or gold watches. And the moment I saw this watch on the Nordgreen website, I was just like, it's perfect. If you've never heard of Nordgreen, um, Nordgreen is a Danish watch brand and they are a brand that I just wholeheartedly support. They are always, you know, thinking about their environmental impacts. They're always trying to make really, really meaningful changes and impacts around the world. And so if you want to learn a little bit more about them, I will leave my previous videos up here as well as in the description box. That way you can learn a little bit more about the brand because I think it's so, so important, okay, to always know a little bit of the history of a brand. Um, at least for me, you know, it's one thing to just look at a brand and say, oh, they have nice stuff. And I think it's another thing to say, oh, they have nice stuff and they have a really meaningful story or, you know, their approaches to the brand is really meaningful. And so for me, Again, one of those main reasons I always come back to Nord Green is just I love what they do as a brand. And so I know I'm keeping like this watch like in suspense. <laughs> so the watch that I have had my eye on for forever is this Unica watch. So this is the classic Unica, but it is the five link two toned watch. So it's got both the gold and the silver on the five link chain. And of course, it's got some gold detailings on the face as well. When I saw this, I cannot tell you how perfect this watch was. And you guys know if you watched my previous videos that I have the classic Unica, which is the Unica, um, I just have it in the silver. Um, but for this particular style, I wanted something that was very, very classic and timeless and very small. So for this one, I actually went with the smaller face and I did that for one reason, I wanted a very particular look and I love watches that have bigger faces, right? Um, but keeping in mind with my jewelry that was a little bit bold, I actually wanted the watch to just be beautiful all on its own. I wanted it to be very minimal. And so I actually went with a 28 millimeter face as opposed to the 32, which is what my other Unica watch face is. So there you can see the difference in the size of the faces. Because I have, you know, jewelry that is silver and gold, I wanted a watch that I could wear pretty much every day and not have to worry about what type of jewelry. I was wearing so this is the watch here as you can see it's two-toned um, and then that watch face is just so beautiful and it's very very minimal so what I want to do is actually show you how it kind of looks with all my jewelry I think one of my favorite things is actually seeing everything come together you know you can wear a watch and you can wear jewelry on its own but I think in reality the best part is when everything comes together so I actually just wanted to come in this mirror and show you all of my jewelry with the watch and how it all looks together and kind of why I absolutely love this kind of two-toned concept. So I have all of my jewelry kind of up here is gold. I have the matching gold bracelet there. Um, but then the watch, of course, is two-toned. And for me, this two-tone was important for one reason. I am always wearing my silver ring. So I wanted a watch that was gonna complement a gold ring and silver rings. And most of the time I am wearing my silver diamond necklace. So having a watch that kind of would complement everything together was really, really important to me. I will leave all the information down below for this watch. And don't forget that if you use the code SG, which I will leave somewhere on the screen, you will be able to get 15% off your order at Nordgreen, which is phenomenal. <laughs> so if you're looking for a gift for yourself, or for someone else, this is such a beautiful watch because again, regardless of whether that person wears gold jewelry or silver jewelry, this watch is just gonna really allow them to be able to wear it with whatever. And it's always gonna go because again, it is that two-toned concept. And I'm just, this has been the watch that I've been wearing every single day. Yeah, every single day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so happy I can finally share with you this watch and actually wear it and not have to hide it from you because 
I am always having to hide stuff from you ladies. Okay, so I am jewelryless now. Um, but I have all my new jewelry here and I'm so excited to share it with you. I spent literally probably hours on the Missouri website trying to pick new pieces that would be perfect for spring and summer, perfect for work, perfect for stay at home. Um, I really wanted these pieces to just be wearable and pieces that just made me feel very powerful i think my jewelry has always been dainty and i don't ever want to move away from that i just wanted something that was still going to be classic and timeless but just just a little more like just just a little more do you know what i mean oh, the suite beside me over there is being renovated and i hope they don't start drilling while i'm filming this so i have five new pieces from missouri um, and the first two are actually from the Herringbone collection. I will leave all the details down below. You'll also be able to get, this is not sponsored by the way, I just, I just want to tell you. <laughs> but you can get 10% off your first order if you shop through my link. Um, so I'll leave it down below for you guys. But the first collection is the Herringbone collection. So I got the necklace with the matching bracelet. So for me, the necklace was the one piece that was going to be the showstopper. Okay, I wanted this to be a little bit more bold, something that was a little bit more, you know, just just more. But it's still something that you can wear every single day. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with blazers, you can wear it to dress up, you can wear it to dress down. And something that I really kept in mind was I know so many of you went out and bought my gold diamond pendant. And I wanted something that could kind of go alongside that. So if you did have it, this is what I wear every day. I have, an, I have a silver one too. But I wanted something that would also work with that. If you wanted just a totally different look. And of course, with the bracelet, um, you guys know I have my little diamond solo bracelet, which I never ever take off. Um, but I wanted something to match the boldness of the necklace. And so I went with the bold herringbone bracelet. And this was just gorgeous. Um, I actually hadn't taken this off until this video because I just kept it on. Um, and again, for me, this piece went back to that versatility. I shower with this, I work out with this. Essentially, once I received this and I put it on, I, I didn't take it off. Um, I just kept it on and this has pretty much become one of my everyday pieces that I just don't take off. Um, the necklace, I will kind of swap in and out depending on what I'm wearing, but the bracelet, I keep on every single day. Just, just like my little diamond solo um, bracelet. I just keep it on every single day. I, Regardless of whether I'm wearing a silver watch or a gold watch, I keep the bracelet on and it looks gorgeous. So the next two items are from the Charlotte Bold collection. So the Charlotte Bold collection is these guys here. So this is the ring. Very, very beautiful. And unlike my previous set of rings, it is a little bit more like, a little more dramatic. So that's the ring there. I honestly still love wearing this on an everyday basis. Some days I just want to like look down at my hands when I'm typing and just be like, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> so this ring, I matched it with the Charlotte Bold earrings and I love these earrings so, so much. They haven't replaced my pearls yet but they're on the way to. These are just so, so beautiful. Again, so, so comfortable and just so beautiful. So easy to dress up and down as well. So yeah, so again, we have the, the ring, the earrings, the necklace, the bracelet, they all work together, okay? And then the last kind of piece. If you saw my last pieces from Missouri, you will know that I had incorporated a little bit of pearls. I love pearls and my pearl earrings are something that I still wear every single day. And so I really wanted to incorporate some pearl element into this kind of set of jewelry pieces. And when I saw this pearl locket, I fell in love. So this is a pearl locket and it is the most beautiful thing. The reason I fell in love with this was because not only could you wear it as, you know, just a short necklace, but you could hook it up to the longest setting and have it just kind of just hit, hit a little bit lower. So for me, this was something that, you know, in the summer, if you're wearing, you know, a little bit of a lower cut top, having that pendant sit right in the middle of your chest is something that I thought looked so, so beautiful. And I just, I love the look of it. And so for me, having all of these pieces work together as well as with the pieces that I already owned was so, so important. So yes, you could absolutely wear all of these at the exact same time, which is something that I've been having a lot of fun with. It's just stacking necklaces. Um, again, keeping it very simple and very classic, but um, just a little bit more like, a little bit more, 
<laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna put my jewelry on because I took it all off. Just give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. I am wearing the bold herringbone necklace. And then this is my gold little diamond necklace from Missouri. We've got my bracelets. And then the rings and earrings. So I just, I love the whole combo. Um, I'm not wearing the pearl locket today just because this is enough. But anyways, I have to get going with my day. I don't even know what I have to do next. Edit? Probably. Probably. Honestly, I might go make myself another coffee. Just relocate for a second. Hold on. Oh. Okay, let's go sit in my handy dandy talking chair. Uh, anyways, just sitting here. I really, really, really hope you guys love all of these pieces as much as I do because if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I did a reel with Missouri um, wearing a white suit. You have, you have no idea how excited I was to plan that reel, film that reel, upload that reel. I just felt like it embodied everything that I stood for. Everything from the music, the outfit, every little detail, every little detail about that reel I just felt was so true to who I am and what I want to to embody, um, you know, and it was just, I was so proud of that. And now that I get to share this watch with you and all the jewelry and how everything comes together, I just, I hope you guys love it um, because I do. I really, really do. I just, ugh, I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> um, I know I should be going to work right now but I wanted to bring something up which I think is really interesting and I don't know I just felt like I should chat about it I was reading through my comments and don't don't you guys think that I don't see your comments I always see your comments I'm always watching. Um, I read all your comments whether it's on Instagram or YouTube um, and there was, a, you guys were so funny. There was a literally like an entire conversation on my last video. Was it my last video? About how a 21 year old, by the way, I'm 20. I just turned 20. Can afford everything that I can afford and how. And, you know, there was a lot of assumptions made um, about how I make this money, whether my parents have money, trust fund, um, lottery, um, so I'm here to just, you know, give you a little bit more information. Although, do go watch my Q&As because I think you can learn a little bit more about me in those, but um, which I'll, I'll leave those up here. Um, but essentially, um, no, I don't have rich parents. No, I don't have a trust fund. Um, no, I did not win the lottery. And no, I don't have a hidden job that I am not telling you about. Although I'm technically a full-time student, that's technically a job, but I'm not getting paid for that. I'm paying for that. <laughs> I guess what's hard to understand is where I make the money. So, um, although this isn't my niche, um, I think there are content creators who, you know, it's their job to talk about this. You know, my focus is fashion and beauty and lifestyle. Um, I will try to find a couple videos for you guys to watch and kind of learn a little bit more about how content creators make money because that way you guys can learn i think learning is so so powerful okay knowledge is power regardless of how old you are okay you should never ever stop learning i don't care if you're 70 keep learning keep educating yourself it's so so important and always challenge your own thoughts and beliefs because you know what Everything is always evolving and changing and it's always important that as individuals again regardless of how old we are It's always important to continue evolving and growing. So I have no idea what that has to do with what I was just talking about, but <laughs> um, What was I even saying? What was I saying? Oh Right Content creating money how I make what I do so I will link some videos below that will hopefully help you kind of understand how content creators make money. But um, my full-time job is right now working as a content creator. So I do make various forms of income through content creating. So Instagram, I make income through there. Um, YouTube, I make money just through YouTube. And then collaborations are a whole other story. I make income through there. I also make income through affiliate marketing. So that is links, um, you know, if you guys purchase through a certain link, I will get a small commission from that link. You guys will pay no more, no less, no different than what you would pay from a, if you just opened up your laptop and typed in a website. But I do make a small commission. Um, again, um, it's just something that helps me out. So oh yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of how and where my 
income sort of comes through. I guess the one question that a lot of people get confused on is I don't have a big following. Um, I, you know, I'm very new. How am I being so successful? Well, you guys, my number one priority is to build a trusting and beautiful connection with you guys. And that is my number one priority. I don't care how much a brand wants to pay me. I don't care. My priority is to always think about you and to think about me. You know, to find good products, products that I love, products that I know you guys will love. And I think that is where there is a huge difference between content creators and influencers. I'm not here to influence you. No, I'm here to share things that I love and I am passionate about. And I think that makes the world of a difference. So yes, you could have a million followers, but if those million followers don't really do anything for you, then it doesn't make it doesn't make a huge difference so for me i'm always focusing on quality over quantity and so for me having a quality relationship with you guys is so so beyond important and i think that is honestly what has led to to my success and the success of what we've done together because it's not just me okay it's a two-way street it's what we've done together it's you ladies and i and um yeah so i think it's not all about numbers okay it's not all about having millions of followers or having millions of likes or having millions of sponsored ads you don't need that um it's 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 about the quality of those collaborations um you know how engaged are your viewers and for me that's what it comes down to okay so yes you're right i am not doing an advertisement in every single video because if i don't find a company that i love i just won't work with them yeah i'm not sure if that fully answers um your question about how a 20 year old is so successful. Anyways, I've rambled on way too much about that. I have no idea if that answers your guys' questions and conversation in the comments over there in that video. But yeah, um, at the end of the day, if you want something bad enough, you will work for it and you will get it. And I am a very, very strong believer in that. So if you want something, ladies, go for it, go get it. Um, because there is no one stopping you but yourself. So, so yeah, that's my motivation speech for you guys. That's my TED talk, um, which actually, how long can I keep rambling on for? Anyways, it's 14 minutes. I've been talking for 14 minutes. I need to go. I'm gonna go work, because it's been 14 minutes of me chatting. Hello everyone, it is now like 6 o'clock. I'm just finishing up my glass of wine. My mom and I just finished getting ready because we're gonna go get some drinks because um, patios are now officially open in Toronto. Hallelujah. Um, so we're just gonna go get some drinks and appetizers and then come back. It is a little bit chillier tonight. I think it's about nine degrees. I love how I always talk about weather in my videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's about nine degrees, so it's a little bit chillier, but it'll be fine. It shouldn't um, rain either, although probably take an umbrella just in case i mean we can always take an uber back anyways but yeah that's the plan it's friday night anyways so i'm gonna finish this class and then we'll get going because we were supposed to leave way before but anyways we couldn't decide on outfits okay it's okay we found outfits i'm wearing um an all white outfit with my trench coat over top and sneakers because what else not been out at a restaurant in I don't know how long and I cannot tell you how good it feels to actually be out having a glass of wine and having a pizza which is not going to sit well in my stomach but it's very good. Nice. 